while we're talking about devices, it's a good time for us to pause and remember that in the device universe, it's no longer just about the browser, but also about applications. And the web platform is playing a critically important role in apps as well as in the browser. And this is the reason that we brought PhoneGap into Adobe about a year ago. What is PhoneGap? PhoneGap is an SDK that enables mobile apps to be written and built using standard web technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And its popularity has been absolutely soaring, including over the past year now that it's been part of Adobe. We've had over a million downloads of PhoneGap, which is just stunning, stunning popularity. It is now being incorporated by individual developers and huge companies alike in a variety of mission-critical applications. There are actually a couple of recent independently developed projects that I think are particularly fine examples of the power of PhoneGap and what you can do with it to not only create beautiful experiences, but also to take advantage of local device capabilities. One of these projects is called Kuki for the iPad. And Kuki was developed by a really creative studio that some of you may have heard of called Amanita Design. They are fairly well known for a chart-topping and award-winning game they developed called Machinarium. And they took the talent that they have and they applied it to creating this immersive, interactive experience that is all centered around a stop-motion animation film called Kuki. And they have, in addition to the film itself, a book that is online as part of the experience, they have drawings and sketches. There's a backstory about how the film was made. And they've even included an interactive game, all developed in standard web technologies and built with PhoneGap for the iPad. Another great example that is pushing the boundaries of what you can do with PhoneGap is an application called Untapped. Untapped is a social application that allows you to share with your friends what beers you're enjoying. You may not be surprised to find out that this is one of the favorite applications of the PhoneGap team. <laughs> and one of the cool things that makes it a favorite is not only the beer part, although that's important, but also the fact that Untapped uses a lot of native device capabilities. So it's all written in standard web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but it also has access to geolocation capabilities, device notifications, photo upload, and social sharing integration that are all taking advantage of what the device offers. So as you can see, PhoneGap gives you tremendous flexibility and control, but it does come at a cost of some complexity and hassle for the developer because you do have to set up each of the individual native development environments in order to compile your applications for those target platforms. So we've been giving a lot of thought to how we can make that easier and more accessible so that it can be used by anyone who can develop content for the web. And this is what inspired us to develop PhoneGap Build. We've been in beta with PhoneGap Build for more than a year, and like the other projects that we've been talking about, it has benefited tremendously from your feedback during this beta period. And I am pleased this morning to announce the official release of PhoneGap Build. PhoneGap Build allows you to easily build mobile apps that are built on the web platform in the cloud and iteratively test them on all of your target devices. And like I said, we've designed it to be easy enough so that anyone who can create web content can now create a mobile application using PhoneGap Build. So Paul, I think you're going to finish off your project by actually creating a companion application that's built with PhoneGap Build. Yeah, you got it. Um, it's called Nostalgist. So this okay. is just an app enabling you to find hard to find or specialty uh, nostalgic items. Yep. So it's perfect uh, for this project. In fact, I can jump in and really you can find specialty stores by location, all built with web technologies. So yep. you can see right over here, I have edge code, which is what I, where I'm doing the development. In fact, what I can do now that I have it uh, to a place where I actually want to. So that was running uh, all in the browser. It, yeah, it's all running yeah. in the browser. Nice. Yep. And now, again, what I need to do is I need to package it up. I yep. need to make uh, an app out of it uh, for various platforms. Notice I can select open source. So pick from, say, a GitHub repository is what I can mm -hmm. do here. Or I can go to private or even upload a zip if I want to. So at this point, I can upload this zip file, which is just my files that you saw a second ago. It will upload them and allow me to make an app. So we'll take that content 
And so it now builds that in the cloud once it receives that HTML, that CSS, and that JavaScript. Yeah, and it will do it for you know iOS, Android. In fact, we'll see here in a second. Uh, I can enable debugging, uh, enable hydration. So this is the ability to update the app uh, as well if you start to hand it out to more people. There but you can see it build for those various platforms. There right they there. go. Look at that. So they're just building with those native dev environments in the cloud, taking all that complexity away. Yeah, exactly. So it's building for all those platforms. You can see the QR code there. So it makes it that easy. It's literally going to your phone, um, selecting scan. And we'll just wait a second for these to build. It will build for all these platforms. And then that QR code allows you to just get a shortcut to actually install it as you're developing so you can test and yeah, and you could you could hand this out to a number of people, whatever you need to do. But again, as soon as as soon as it's done, it's you take a snapshot with your QR code reader. It will install it on your device. Yep. And you can s install it for all of these platforms as they start to build. Also, if there's any errors, so if you yep. need to sign a key, say for iOS, it'll flag, it'll flag that, that and actually point to the docs on how to nice. uh, get that squared away. Nice. So it's building now. I think we can all have a little patience, right? It's all right. Looks like a couple of them finished, yeah. Yeah. But not iOS yet, huh? So <laughs> yes, it will. Uh, in fact, iOS is what I would take, but I got Android available. I can always take a snapshot with my Android device. There we go. Well, there you go. Okay. It's finished. Uh, it's funny. It took only. It took about thirty. Uh, about thirty or so seconds. But now, if you guys can see that as I hold it over that QR code, let's focus in on it. starts to install it, as there you it can goes. see right there. So I'm going to set this down. Uh, it starts to install it, as you can see right here. I already have it installed on this Android the device, so I've done that already. I can click through. There it is. And yeah. you can see that content running on this device. Uh, so again, it's installing pretty fast. I did this from build.phonegap.com. In fact, there it is. There it is. I can finished. launch it. And we'll launch that app. But I can also do this from Edge Code as well. So I can literally, with the feature in Edge Code, yeah. send that directly to PhoneGap Build. It will oh, make without that having app. to go to the website, just without directly having to from within the tool. Yeah, exactly. You got it. So you can see the content right there. I there can do all is. my debugging now from here on out. Beautiful. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank That's you. amazingly fast and easy. So you can see how that's become now accessible to build and test apps in the cloud for anyone who can create web content. And you don't have that hassle of having to set up each of those native development environments. Um, PhoneGap Build is available today. So you can go immediately log in and begin using it. Before we proceed, Paul, I want to thank you for your help this morning in building out this project right. and showing us all the edge tools and services. Thanks, man. I thank appreciate you. it. Yep. Thanks, everybody.